All right, y'all, so we are back once again with redesigning your Sonic OCs. If you guys are new around here, the title's pretty self-explanatory. I ask you guys to submit your Sonic OCs. I give them a short little review. I tell you what I like. I tell you what I might change. And then I redesign your character and essentially give my take on what the character would look like in my opinion. And that is the key part that I always remind you guys of. This is just my opinions. This is how I would redesign the character. If you guys would have done anything different than I would do in this video, you guys can let me know down in the comments. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this first character is from Spirit Wolf Moon. I think right off the bat, you're in a pretty good spot. I don't know what species this is but I do like the big ears that we have going on here I also like how you chose to darken their eyeball color I think that's something that's pretty unique I don't see a lot of people doing that with their characters I like the shades of brown that you're using here however I do think that it might be a little too much brown I think we can kind of play around with the color wheel a little bit maybe experiment with some different colors however I still definitely want to stick with like this sandy brown color scheme that you got going on here maybe just add like a couple different secondary colors I don't know why, but this character kind of gives me like cowboy vibes. So maybe that's something that I might play around with and kind of lean into. I don't know if that was the original intention with this character, but those are the vibes that I'm getting right now. All right, well, let's get sketching. I'm wondering if I can try drawing a cowboy hat, something akin to, you know, Knack the Weasel or Fang the Jerboa, I guess he's called. Apparently Knack the Weasel was just an alias that he was using according to to Sega here. All right, I'm just drawing random lines at this point. I need to find a cowboy hat reference. <laughs> Might actually have to redraw the ear a little bit later, just to kind of get a sense if I maybe want to tuck the ear under the hat, or maybe if I want to have like some sort of hole that causes the ear to poke out somehow. Something like that, right? That kind of looks good. Thankfully, the method of drawing this sort of hand pose is fresh in my mind because I'm working on a OC short where I had to draw this hand pose. Kind of make the gloves a little bit bigger on the cuffs. I like this vest that you had, so I think we're gonna keep the vest. I might add some sort of badge on there maybe, maybe like a star patch or something like that. Like maybe we just add like a, I don't know, like a, like a sheriff star or something like that. I'm pretty sure they have, yeah, I think that's what they look like, right? Yeah. So. Some, something like this. Something like this looks pretty good, I think. Now, you kind of already had some pretty cool boots, but since we're kind of leaning into the, the cowboy theme here, I wanted to see what it might look like if we gave this character some cowboy boots. I've never really drawn cowboy boots before, so I had to find a reference, and hopefully these will look good. Kind of want to add a design on the shoes like this one has right here. Maybe we'll take this little detail on the tail and then turn that into a shape that goes on the boots right here. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. And we'll add like a little, little design right there too. This boot might be a little bit harder to draw because it's front facing as opposed to at an angle like the other one. And I'm wondering what it might look like if maybe we add some Antoine S fur that kind of sticks out to the sides a little bit. All right, so this side might be a little bit cut off by the arm, but it is kind of showing up there at least, so that's good. All right, let's add the eyes. And of course, we cannot forget the tail. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Unofficial theme song of this character right here. <laughs> you know what might be kind of cool too? You know how cowboys will sometimes have like, I don't know, like whips or like, also they have like the, the lassos. What if this character could like use their tail as like a lasso? Like they just grab the tail and they're just like, yeah, come here, you little cow. Whew. Okay, so I think we got our final sketch done. Now we just need to move on to outlining and coloring it. All right, so like I said earlier, I did like this brown color scheme. So we are going to kind of stick with that. I think for the main fur color, as well as this secondary tan color, we are gonna keep that. I also like the dark brown that you used for the eyes and for the tail. We'll make the gloves this same color as well, I think. And I might do the same for the boots as well. Let's use this brown from the vest for the 
cowboy hat. I'll take this yellow from the shoes and we'll use it for the gloves. Now, once we get to the vest here, I think this is where I'm going to kind of play around with a couple of different options. Right off the bat, I'm kind of leaning towards more like a burgundy color. Something like this color, possibly. This is burgundy, right? Burgundy? Mahogany? That is mahogany! And then let's color in our little sheriff's badge here. And then I want to use the yellow and red, possibly, for this fire emblem kind of thing going on here. How many of y'all out there are Fire Emblem fans? I've personally never played Fire Emblem. I've just played as Ike and Marth in Smash Bros. <laughs> Let me know if I should play it sometime. Let's sample that gray for the hat up here. I actually think we could probably go a little bit darker than that. Yeah, something like that. That looks good. Ooh, you know what might actually look a little bit nicer? What if we actually make the boots the same color as the hat, but we have the inside actually stay that same color as the gloves that we used. I actually kind of like that. I think that actually looks pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with that. And ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be our final redesign version of this character. So like I said at the beginning, I think this was already in a pretty good shape. I wanted to kind of experiment with a couple different things, obviously play around with some color a little bit. I know we still kind of stuck with the uh, the brown color scheme. I think adding this dark red in here kind of helps it stand out against all this brown. And I kind of like this cowboy vibe going on here. Like I said, I don't know if that was the original intent with this character or not, but I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing with the cowboy look. I think this character pulls it off really well. All right, Spirit Wolf. Well, I hope you like your redesign. Thank you so much for submitting your character and let's move on to the next one. All right, so our next character comes from Ricky Smeggers and Ricky says, I'm kind of at a loss of what to do with this guy design wise. Been tossing this around for a long time, but I've gone nowhere. Originally wanted him to be a pearled tree runner. What is a pearled tree runner? I've never heard of such a creature before. Oh, oh, that is pretty. All right. Well, I think we'll definitely stick with the pearled tree runner. I think what we can try and do is add some elements to make them look a little bit more like said pearled tree runner. I assume you're trying to emulate what the feathers of the pearled tree runner looked like. So I think we'll kind of redo this a little bit to make it look a little bit more like the OG. You kind of got something going on here with the shoe design, and I think we can kind of refine it, make it look a little bit more polished and then maybe we'll try and experiment with some different hairstyles as well this should be interesting i've never tried drawing a pearled tree runner before shout out to all of you out there that try going for some unique animal species for your characters not gonna lie i always learn about new animals from looking at other people's sonic characters because y'all be picking some things that i didn't even know existed like i had no idea that a pearled tree runner was even an animal. You learn something new every day, that's for sure. So the beak is kind of pointed out like this. And what if we give him like a, kind of like a smile or something. Give him some cool eyes like this. Maybe we'll do something kind of like how Jet has like this outer ring with his eyes. That's what I do with my uh, bird OC Zephyr, who is a sparrow. The bird characters kind of have something like this going on. So we'll kind of, so I think we'll do that for this character. Now the OG version over here has kind of like a messy fringe going, but from this angle, I think it might be kind of cool to try and see what a mohawk might look like. This might be something that I decide to change, but let's see what it looks like. And then I like how you included this uh, pattern that the original pearl tree runner has so we're gonna continue with that what if instead of it ending like that we extend it out like this and kind of match that mohawk shape almost yeah let's do that i'm gonna go with that going with it final answer trebek we're going with it all right let's see how we want to go about doing these pearled feathers on the body I don't want to make it look too complicated or too busy, so we might just do like six of them. That looks like a pretty good number. That's like a personal design preference of mine. I don't like when character designs are too busy, at least for Sonic OCs. In my opinion, simplicity and subtlety goes a long way. 
when it comes to Sonic OCs, so that's usually what I try to go for whenever I'm designing a character. I try to not complicate things too much with, uh, the design. Now, I'm wondering if maybe we want to give him some kind of shirt or top accessory, maybe? I know I said when I was looking at the original that it kind of looked like a sleeveless, ripped tank top almost, so maybe we might try doing that for this character and see how it looks. We'll add what kind of are supposed to look like rips here. Hopefully I'm doing a decent enough job at conveying that. And then I'm wondering if maybe they kind of have like some, I don't know, like maybe some skinny jeans or something. Let's add a belt. I kind of want to add a belt and see how that looks. All right, let's add some sort of skinny jeans. Maybe they're like, maybe they're like so tight. They basically just look like you know, the legs. Now the shoes, let's see what we want to do with the shoes here. It's like sleek, but also like kind of clunky at the same time. Some, something that I can kind of mess with, you know? Let's give, let's give like some lace shapes going on here. He had like this L shape going on here. So maybe we'll continue with that. Ooh, I kind of like that. From a distance, it kind of looks a little, uh, I don't know, kind of like future, Esque a little bit. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm kind of vibing with it. So we're gonna keep it. Now for gloves. I don't know why, but this character is kind of giving me fingerless glove vibes. So we're gonna try the fingerless glove approach and see what we think. I'm wondering if what if the fingerless gloves also have like kind of like a rip to them, like the tank top does. So let's try that out. Everything is gonna be ripped. <laughs> Everything is torn and tattered for this character for some reason. That's just the vibes I'm getting. All right, I think that actually might have been a little bit of overkill for the glove. Let's undo that. All right, I think that should be fine for the hand. I'm gonna accept, I'm gonna end up obsessing over the hand a little too much. All right, let's add some tail feathers here. This Pearl Tree Runner has quite a bit of tail feathers in the back. So let's see if we can kind of do something pretty similar. Okay, just kinda looking over it real quick to see if I wanna do anything else. And I think this might be good. So let's try outlining and coloring now. All right, let's sample some pearled tree runner colors here, see what we can cook up. So they have almost like this reddish color to them. I'm trying to get a yellow from one of these feathers to use here. We'll do that for the eye pattern, and then we'll also do that for these chest feathers right here. Dark color to use for the gloves. Maybe we'll do the same for this tank top right here. Now their beak kind of has like a grayish color to it. So I think we'll do that for the beak. I like this sort of gradient that you got on the tail feathers here. So I'm wondering if we kind of do something similar with like the tips of the feathers. Maybe something like that. Ooh, I like that. And I'm wondering if we color in the mohawk like this. What does this look like? Oh, okay. I kind of like that. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try something a little bit left field. What if we do like a purple? Hmm. Might have to fade the purple a little bit. Ooh, yeah, maybe something like that. I think that could be good. And then I like the light gray that you used here. So we'll use that for the laces and for the other part of the shoe. And then let's make sure that we color in that eyelid to match this pattern right here. Originally had yellow eyes, but I'm wondering if red will look good. I kind of like red. All right, so to summarize what we did, we added some more of these pearled tree runner qualities to this character. We added the pearled feathers onto here, and I wanted to play around with some of the colors from this pearled tree runner reference right here. We added some more reds and we also played around with the outfit a little bit, tried a different shoe design. And overall, I'm kind of liking how this version of the character turned out. So Ricky, I hope you like this redesign. Thank you so much for submitting this character. This was a fun one and let's move on to the next character. Alrighty, our third character comes from smg 4 fan 81 with their Komodo Dragon OC. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't Komodo Dragons supposed to be like 
the biggest lizard in the world. It is the largest existent species of lizard growing to a maximum length of three meters and weighing up to 70 kilograms. Okay, so yeah, I think the first thing I would definitely do with this character is bulk them up a little bit, make them, you know, into a, like a big, strong, big, strong dude, strong man. Assuming this is a man. I don't mean to assume gender here. I do like the idea of the poison darts and the knife as a weapon. So I think we'll keep the weapons and then as usual, might play around with the uh, outfit and colors and see what we can come up with. Might also play around with some different potential knife designs as well. Just to, you know, experiment with a couple different things. I think Komodo dragons also have like really long tongues in you know traditional lizard fashion so let's give him a nice long uh lizard tongue sticking out I'm thinking he'll almost essentially have like a vector type body going on here and then maybe to add some more detail what if maybe there's like some i don't know like some hooks or something here or some grooves inside of the knife I don't know exactly what you would call this part, but that's the part. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call them grooves. Now, as I'm drawing the body out, I'm trying to think of what I exactly want to do for clothes. And as I continue to look at this character holding the knife, I'm kind of getting like Mimic vibes, to be honest with you. All right, I found a picture of Mimic here. So let's see if we can kind of pull from this a little bit. Let's give him kind of like a neckerchief slash scarf thing that you had in your original character. I don't know why this dude's kind of striking me as a, I don't know, maybe like a scarf wearer or something. <laughs> Let's kind of take the vest and make it long like Mimic's uh, cloak going on here. So maybe it kind of comes down like, like all the way down here. Kind of like how there's a sash or some kind of uh, strap going along the body there. Turn that into like a utility belt down here. And then we can put those poison darts inside of the utility belt. I'm assuming that's what that sash is. Really the only reason why I'm turning it into a belt is because the way that this poses right now, the arm is going like right across the body so you wouldn't even be able to see it. So we're gonna turn it into a belt. All right, so real quick, I had to fact check and make sure that I was thinking correctly. And Komodo dragons do have these long claws. So I'm thinking we're not even probably going to give any feet wear to this character. We might just let those claws hang out, you know? Hopefully I actually can draw claws pretty well. <laughs> I don't draw them very often, so hopefully I, you know, do a good job. And of course, can't forget about the giant lizard tail. All right, we're just about done with the sketch, although the arm is looking kind of empty. I'm wondering if we can add maybe like some accessories here. Like what if we, ooh, what if we gave him like, what if we gave him like a tattoo on the arms? That would be cool. I don't know exactly of what, but I think that would be really cool to add. I don't know, maybe I'll just kind of draw some tribal shapes and see what we can, uh, See what we can come up with here. I didn't want to go too crazy with it, but I think we're going to just kind of go with this little design that I just came up with on the spot. Let's also add a little bit of darkness around the eyes as well. I think doing this will make him look a little bit more intimidating. And then I kind of want to add some more accessories on the hands. I'm wondering if we'll do some kind of like I don't know, like a like a bracelet kind of but maybe one that has like some I don't know some kind of like decorations hanging off of it maybe like maybe like maybe like some little little spikes like this and then let's add like a ring or something like a ring on one of like the fingers yeah something like that because why not we'll do the same on the other hand too Okay, I'm kind of liking this sketch right here. Let's uh, let's get to outlining it. Ooh, I do not know why, but this particular character felt like it took an eternity to outline. I don't know if it's because I made the character so big, but <laughs> wow, that took a while. All right, I think this gray should be fine. I don't really have any 
problems with the gray. If I feel like I want or need to, I'll play around with some things. I think I want to use the grays from Mimic's cloak. And maybe we'll use this purple too. I kind of like the color that this purple is. It's like a dark lavender almost, and I think it looks pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go dark gray for the claws as well. We'll use this brown from the original for our utility belt. Let's take this purple from our poison darts and add that in here as well. Now we'll kind of make the tattoo a little faded. It'll almost be kind of like a Babylon rogues marking. Like you know how Jet, Wave, and Storm have like those wave flame pattern things uh, right before their hand. Maybe it can kind of be something like that just on, you know, the arm. And I kind of like that. I kind of like how that looks. Now, I think it's kind of weird that the Komodo dragon tongue is actually gray like that. And I was originally going to do that, but this design is already pretty gray. So I think I want to add just a little bit of color. And I think we'll also keep the eyes red, like in the original design. So maybe let's sample the color from this uh, boot right here. All right, and I think we are gonna go with this. All right, to sum it up, we essentially injected steroids into this original design here. Komodo dragons are the biggest lizard in the world, so I felt like we needed to bulk this guy up a little bit, make him big. Decided to mess around and give him like a mimic inspired outfit changed up the knife design a little bit and overall i would say this is a pretty badass looking character hopefully you agree thank you very much for submitting this character and let's move on all right and our final character comes from suspicious stew 36 that is a tongue twister of a name and they say reiko the velociraptor i know he doesn't have color but feel free to get creative with it well don't mind if I do. That's why we're here. So I like the hair. I think the hairstyle is actually pretty cool. I also love how they have like this cyborg arm. Uh, hopefully I can do a pretty good job at uh, drawing that. If there's one thing I would change is that I think we can do with less of all these triangles. I feel like it kind of makes the design look a little too busy. So I think we can kind of simplify that. Maybe we could also try out some different footwear as well. Maybe if, since we have a robotic arm here, maybe we can add some more like tech looking boots or something. So uh, wish me luck with the robot arm. You would think after my how to draw vector tutorial that I would be a lot better at drawing long lizard mouths like this, but... <laughs> Even I still struggle with it. We're going tongue out with almost all the designs today, aren't we? I should really do more Babylon Rogues art because I feel like I really need more practice at drawing goggles like this. I always feel like they look so weird every time I try to draw them. Let me know what you guys think, if I need more practice or not. <laughs> you probably don't even need to tell me. I already know I do. All right, and I know I said I liked the hair in the original one, but I kind of want to play around with a couple different things here almost like a slicked back version of dr starline's hair maybe let's try something like that let's let's roll with this for now and then we can we can see what we uh what we think later all right the moment we've all been waiting for it's time for me to attempt to draw a bionic arm I'm trying to find a good bionic arm reference and i was kind of thinking of like cyborg from teen titans so maybe we'll try sort of doing something like that all right so we got a basic shape for the fist to start off oh my god this is gonna look so bad i'm really challenging myself with this one actually i don't want to complicate this too much but i also want to you know make sure it actually looks like a pretty cool bionic arm you know what i mean okay hopefully this looks pretty good for a bionic arm hopefully i did it uh did it justice drawing these boots from the front perspective though might be a little tricky but we'll uh we'll try our best here yeah maybe maybe something like this something like this doesn't look too bad i can i can go with this this is pretty cool all right not horrible not horrible at all if i do say so myself let's add a couple more teeth in the front all right oh we need the tail can't forget about the tail and then 
I'm thinking of possibly adding some stripes around the tail just to see how that looks. It does not look too bad, I don't think. All right, let's make, I think I'm gonna make the boots just a little bigger. All right, well, I think this is a pretty good sketch to leave off on. I'm pretty cool with this. This actually looks really cool. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with how I was able to do this. All right, let's get to outlining. All right, so now let's try and think about some colors. What to do for colors? Well, like I said earlier, the hair was kind of reminding me of Starline, so why don't we try looking at some of those colors maybe? All right, so Starline's got a pretty purple design. I kind of like the idea of maybe having this inner purple as like the main body color of this character. Maybe we make this color for some of our secondary features here. Maybe we use some of the oranges from the warp topaz in our mech somewhere, in our bionic arm. Maybe like right here and here. Maybe if we try doing like a dark gray as well for some of these parts, like up here. Maybe for this part, actually no, we'll do, we'll do it for this part right here. Try a nice light gray for some of these bigger parts right here. Bring that orange back for maybe that little part right there. I'm wondering if we just go like really um, dark gray for this inner part right here. And then let's take the orange and put it here. And we'll probably just make this outer diamond part white. Okay, all right, we're cooking, we're cooking. Let's do the same thing for the goggles up here. Kind of like a similar idea. Let me take some of this orange right here, do that, do that. Bands up here orange, let's make these diamonds orange. Let's make this jet part orange. Yeah, we'll make this the same color as the uh, part of that bodysuit right there. Almost there, let's take a darker version of this skin color right here and use that for the nails. Tongue, ooh, you know what would be kind of cool? What if we made the tongue like green? I wanna see what a green tongue would look like. Oh, that's actually kind of trippy. I might I might change that later, but let's let's leave it for now and we'll we'll see what we think as we finish this up. Color in the darkness right there. Let's make that a little bit darker. The uh, eyes orange as well. All right. And okay. You know what? I kind of like the green tongue. I think it kind of stands out a little bit. And overall, I kind of like this color scheme too. Real quick, I just want to see what it would look like with um, the darker purple. Ooh, do we want to go dark or light? I don't know. Let me switch back and forth and see what I think. I think I might want to go with... I think, no, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with this like lighter purple. I kind of like this better. All right, so that's gonna do it for this character right here. So to summarize what we did, like I said in the beginning, I kind of like this hairstyle that you already had. Um, I just wanted to try something and make it a little bit more my own with this character right here. We also went more all in with this bionic suit right here. You already had a pretty cool robotic arm, so I thought maybe we just double down and add a little bit more tech and some more like mech stuff to it. And we got rid of a lot of these triangles that you had on the original design. And I think overall, this is a bit cleaner of a look. And we also experimented with some different boots as well. So thank you for submitting your character, Suspicious Stu. This one was a lot of fun to work on, I gotta say. And I definitely challenged myself with the robotic arm. So thank you for unintentionally giving me a challenge as well. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up this part of redesigning your Sonic OCs. Thank you to everyone that submitted their character for this video and to all of the other people out there that submitted characters. I apologize, I can't get to every single one of you, but this is an ongoing series. So be on the lookout for when I'm gonna start doing the next part. 
and maybe your character will be submitted. And to make sure you guys don't miss out on future uploads in general, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any uploads. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, that's about it. See ya.